Is there anything about the Russia investigation connected to the Trump campaign that troubles you? Yeah, the, the reporting that's taking place and the exaggeration of veniality and the suggestion. Look, it, it's now seven months since the election. And to this day, no one has cited a single piece of evidence. In your last session, you guys were patting yourselves on the back because you said Clapper had passed it all, the responsibility off to the FBI. But you forget that in the last weeks of the administration, Obama allowed all his intelligence agencies to share their information. And there is no question in my mind that, that when that happened, since Clapper's group had originated this, that anything the FBI had would have gone back to Clapper. So it's nice for Clapper to try and wash his hands of it by throwing it in the FBI's lap, but he was a, had access in those days to whatever the mm -hmm. FBI had. There is nothing there. So Jared Kushner meeting with a major Russian banker of a massive bank that has connections to Vladimir Putin, nothing to see there. Well, tell me what you think is to see there, and I'll comment on it. What do you think would be the motivation? I don't think there's meeting? anything there. So, so you, why would they so do it? So you're well, implying, so why, why you're would implying, they meet? Because during the 10 weeks, everybody is trying to meet somebody who's going to be in the administration. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's involved in business, everybody who's involved in politics. I sure. can't tell you how many people tried to meet with me between and the time I was in the And did you meet with a Russian staff. banker when everybody tried to meet with you? No, but I had breakfast with the vice president at the Russian embassy, and a lot of <laughs> folks there started talking to me. Mm-hmm. And would you have carved out time to meet with a Russian banker with ties to Vladimir Putin if he asked? I'm not even sure what would have happened if that had happened. First of all, Putin wasn't there. But look, you're asking hypotheticals on hypotheticals. Well, I'm trying There's to nothing, actually take your temperature. You, I mean, I'm you trying have nothing, to gauge your, your comfort level with all of this. My comfort level, the only discomfort I have is with folks in the media trying to create a veniality without having the courage to, to specifically tell me what the veniality that I should be concerned about is. Well, I should... don't have, I have not identified a veniality. Have you? Well, you should be concerned if there was collusion. And that's what I don't. Congress... I don't see any evidence of collusion. Do you? No. That, that, ends, that should end your reporting right well, there. We're you at should the put an exclamation point after you know. Understood. But we're at the beginning of the investigation. So what You're Congress, seven months which, into the investigation. Not exactly. You're Robert seven Mueller months. has just taken over. Robert oh, Mueller has just taken over. It's a new investigation. Over. Well, no. I mean, look, you, you, that's not exactly fair, Governor, because as you sure. know, uh, Congress people have Obama been calling for a went special counsel last... to do this, to handle this, because so it gets away from all the partisan bickering. So it's just starting okay. in that regard. Can I ask a question? If Mueller comes out and says that my version is correct and yours isn't, how much crow are you going to eat? Governor, I don't have a version of events. Of I course you do. The whole half hour I listened to Governor? is a version. Governor, we are asking questions of the sources <laughs> of the people who know, attempting to see where the investigation is. The investigation isn't complete. Without, without, identifying, without identifying a veniality that should be investigated. Governor, we appreciate your perspective that there's nothing to see here and that the investigation is... I don't know. Silly? Politically motivated by folks trying to rationalize a horribly run Democratic presidential campaign. Governor John Sununu, thank you very much. Always great to get your perspective.